Hey everyone, Mike here. Another update for Save the Princess. So this time one of the main things that I've updated, as you can see here on the screen, Save the Princess now has a title screen. It has a main main screen, so you can come to the menu. I'm going to click play, and it's going to bring me to level 1. Actually, the level select. I have two here. Second one's not made yet, so we're going to click on level 1. Uh, I have added these gems. Now you can keep track. You have player money and gems collected in the bottom. I'm going to place some turrets before I die to these guys. Um, so we have some gems. We have uh, turrets that we can place. I've added another turret, this cannon that's over here. Uh, once I make enough money, hopefully I can put that down. Still don't have enough. That's going to be tough. Um, I have added more health than just one. Player now has more than one health. They have ten. Uh, or the princess defenses. Uh, the idea is the enemies are going through this portal and attacking the tower the princess is living in. So that's why it says princess defenses and I only have four left. So four more enemies make it in. I am done. Uh, that's going to happen here. These enemies, uh, green instead of blue, they are tougher than those blue orbs. They take more damage. And game is over. All right. Uh, so eventually they're all going to be replaced with goblins instead of just these different colored spheres. Uh, but there are multiple different enemies. The first ones are kind of basic. Uh, those green ones you saw just a little bit ago, they were a lot tougher. And then those light green ones that just went in were much faster. Um, so I could, go, I could click on either of these. Uh, if I click on menu, it's going to take me back to the menu. Click on play, select level 1. Uh, I still have the gems I've collected. Part of the reason for that is because these are going to be used for character upgrades later on haven't got to the point of coding those in or anything, so there is no shop yet. Eventually I plan on having a shop where you can purchase better weapons, uh, maybe upgrade your character, that sort of thing. But not currently. The other major thing that you're probably seeing if you watched the previous video is that now there is a character. It's no longer just moving the camera back and forth. Uh, but I'm controlling a character, so we're getting closer to the beat-em-up portion of the game. Uh, so it's not no longer just going to be that tower defense that we were talking about. Um, so game is over. I survived three waves. There are more waves incoming. Uh, right now it's it's actually kind of tough. You can see up here in this health bar area, um, I'm going to be adding player health as well. So the enemies will be attacking the player as you're attacking them. So there's a lot to add still. Uh, but I think there's some pretty significant updates here with the new tower, uh, main screen, and then also adding the character uh, with some very basic animations. It looks kind of weird right now not having a weapon, but we're getting there. Um, so appreciate, as always, all of the supports, the likes, the comments. Uh, if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel and uh, just drop me a comment. Let me know things that you'd like to see in a game like this. Um, I've, I've got my own ideas, but I'm, I'm open to more. So thank you again for the support. Check out my Patreon if you'd like to. Um, I'd, I'd always appreciate the support there as well. So anyway, this is Save the Princess. Still very, very early development. Um, just following some tutorials and doing all of this myself. So uh, purchased a few Unity assets, and that's what you're looking at as far as the character models. Um, but this is, this is me following tutorials and trying my own hand at making a game. And I'm pretty happy with it so far. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching and hope to see you again.